here is a secret technique to have very sharp photos all the time. And you know what? 90% of photographers don't implement what I will tell you in this video. But I don't understand because it's very simple to implement as you will see and it's very, very efficient. You will understand why in this video. This technique just consists in setting the focus in another button than the traditional way which is the shutter and to put the focus on a button which is located in front of your camera which is called AF on. It is also what we call the back button focus, okay? So it's, it's another way to make the focus, but I can tell you that it totally changed my way of taking pictures and it was for me, I can tell it, a real revolution in terms of efficiency when you take pictures outside and you need to be very reactive. You will understand why now. So let's talk first about the traditional way to make the focus, which is the shutter. Generally, when you want to make the focus on a subject, you just press the shutter halfway. It makes the focus, okay, the camera makes the focus. You can reframe it if you are in AFS, okay, which is autofocus single, or AFC, which is autofocus continuous, if you are set in AFC, so that the focus will be recalculated all the time when you move the camera to another subject um, at a different distance. But you just press halfway, you reframe, and you take the picture. That's the traditional way to make the focus. Here what I recommend is to deactivate the focus in the shutter, but put it in another button which is located in front of your camera. You can just look at now in your camera. It's a button called AF on. So how to do that? The thing is that you just need to go to the settings, but I will show you just after exactly how you do it. Uh, so you will see it's very, very easy. And why do I recommend that? The main reason why I recommend you to use this button instead of the shutter is that you can switch from one AF mode to the other AF mode in just one second. Let me explain that. I was talking about two AF mode, okay, which is AFS and AFC. The first one, AFS, just makes punctually just one time the focus at a certain distance, you can reframe and just take the picture. The second uh, autofocus mode, which is AFC, just continuously recalculate the focus every time you move the camera. So that's two types of different autofocus mode. The first one is used for still subject and the second one is used for moving subject, as you can guess. So the reason why I recommend you to put the focus in the back button focus, which is the AF on button, is that when you press Okay, just one time you press it and you release the button, you are in AFS mode, which is autofocus single. When you need to shoot a still subject, press one time, release, you are in AFS, you can reframe and take the picture. The subject where you made the focus will be totally sharp. If you keep pressing in the AF on button like this, you keep pressing, it will be in AFC mode, which means that the focus will be recalculated all the time. So let's say, let's take an example, very simple example. There is one subject sitting on a bench. He is still, okay? You want to take a photo of this person, AFS to lock the focus on the subject, but suddenly you can see that the subject just stand up and start walking. You just don't want to miss this opportunity because this person has a very good style or very specific things that you don't want to miss. So what do you do now? You just need to keep pressing in the AF on button. It will change your camera to AFC mode, which is continuous because the subject is moving right now. And you can just follow the subject and take the picture with the subject totally in focus, so totally sharp. If you didn't have this AF on button and you still have the traditional way to make the focus which is the shutter, you couldn't do that. Why? Because if you are in AFS, you press halfway and at the moment the subject starts standing up to walk away, it, you can't do anything else than just take the picture, okay? So it will not be in focus, so blurry. Or you need to change to AFC. So if you could set a shortcut in your camera, okay, you will have to change it. Or even worse, if you couldn't 
set the, the shortcut you need to go in the menu and uh, choose the AFC and uh, coming back to the scene before taking the picture it's too late it's too late that's why for me it's a real revolution um, when I discovered this button it totally changed my way of taking pictures you can just switch from one mode to the other mode in just one second just pressing it of just keep pressing the button and you will be in AFC that's for me fantastic okay so what I recommend you is just to change that in the menu I will show you right now and you will see you will never never come back to the previous and traditional way of making the focus of course if you are used to the traditional way of making the focus uh, you will need some time to get used to it maybe a few days but um, if you are not used to taking photos with the shutter or if you are totally beginner it's even better because you will get used to the best way to make the focus so I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If it's the case, leave a big thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments if you already use this technique or not. And subscribe to my channel because my goal is to make you become a better photographer and filmmaker. If it's not done yet, I recommend you to click in the first link in the description to learn more about exposure triangle. If you don't know what is it, it's essential to master the exposure triangle if you want to perform in the long term either in photography or filmmaking okay it's essential for me to understand that so if it's not done yet click the first link in the description i will send you that by email and i see you in the next video